Hi everyone, my name is Raj Shekhar. Welcome to my channel. This is a quick video on moving a matrix fixture. I'm trying to share you all uh, how it works with Unreal Engine on Camsys. Let's drag and drop the moving matrix fixture. Let's get inside DMX library. DMX library, fixture types, new fixture type and change the type to matrix pixel bar. And let's rename this, let's call it moving matrix. Add mode and put a tick mark on fixture matrix enabled. After putting a tick mark on fixture matrix enabled, let's choose the X and Y as 3 by 3 matrix. You can pick the orientation whatever you like. And now in the cell attribute, let's add two more functions. We already have red, so we're going to add a green and then we're going to add a blue. So we have three functions already. Now this is a standard matrix. We'll be adding a pan and tilt as a function. Okay, so everything is done. Now let's save and go to patch. Universe 5 is free for now. So in my case, so let's add this moving matrix. In this address range of 33 to 61, 60 and 61 is your pan and tilt function. The matrix cells are from 33 to 59. Let's save this. Let's connect the patch to this matrix fixture. Select the fixture, go to details, DMX, library is VSDMX, and the fixture, would, it would be at the last. So it's moving matrix. So since I have tested, you might see a lot of names here, but we are specifically going for the last one, moving matrix one. These are all the matrix which I've tested, and it's still not getting refreshed from this list. So I'll choose the last one. Now the Unreal part is done. Let's focus on campuses. In Camsys, let's patch the matrix fixture for the corresponding Unreal Engine's address. To do that, go to patch, click on choose head, generic, and we're gonna choose RGB strip, three channel. You should be ideally in view channels, stay on universe phi, all the way down, stay on 33 address because matrix starts from 33 address. And then click on patch it. So it's, it patches one RGB, continue the process. Until 59, so 33 to 59. And now the 60 and 61 will patch a dimmer channel to it. So with that cell selected, click on choose dimmer media, patch a dimmer and click on patch it, and click on patch it again. So we have patched two dimmers for 60 and 61. Move this group here. So this is your matrix group. And the moment I hit locate, I have it lit up. The colors are changing fine. Okay, now let's click on the dimmer group. And the last two group would be the dimmer channel which we patched. So this would be your pan. Click and locate. It's panning. Let's record that and put it here and the next one will be tilt let's record that and put it here let's quickly rename this we'll call this pan and we'll call this tilt let's do a small program for this let's select the matrix locate and go to add effects color and we'll choose rgb snap let's reduce the time We'll play with some attributes here. The next part is to add a pan and tilt function to it. We'll do that by selecting the pan function which we added, which is the dimmer channel, and add FX, intensity, and do a dim chase. So now we have this pan function. Now let's go back to layout one again. Select the tilt, add FX and give another dim chase for the tilt as well. So now we have a moving matrix which is having the light FX as well as the pan and tilt function as well. The reason uh, why we are giving dim chase because we have patched a dimmer channel. You will not be able to use a position FX to it. So the only option is to use a dim chase or a random chase or any other uh, FX to do with dimmer. Okay, now let's record this uh, program which we made to a fader. 
let's clear this out so this is our record as you play it you can see the moving matrix is working fine and that's the workflow of moving matrix in unreal engine and campuses hope you found this useful see you all soon on another video i'm raj shekhar take care